So I'm just looking for the right size, kind of a medium mm -hmm. sales yeah. order here. There's one down below that's 7,000. Yeah, let's do that one. Maybe it has a little more girth to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm excited about this because I know you invented it. Yes, and it, it seems like any retail company could utilize this. Okay, so we've got a sales order open in edit mode. Now this one is existing, so you can see we have each item line, you know, through the the matrix setup mm -hmm. is configured to here's the style, you know, this yep. is a polo shirt, this is the color code, and extra small, the size. Yeah. So really tedious for them to to have to do a vertical line going down for every size combination. They're really for each color. They really want to see the style color combination mm -hmm. and then going across each of the sizes. So Makes extra small, we want this many. Medium, we want this many. That's so cool. we have created that for them. We're going to click this new button, item grid entry. It is now launching and it's reading the lines. You can see how much simpler that looks. All these lines really consolidates into two, mm -hmm. I call them item groupings. Mm -hmm. So I'll zoom in a little bit here. So this represents the the existing order. We've got the Abbott Polo and got the one extra. So technically each one of these size columns, extra small, small, that represents a different item record. So we've got you know six lines consolidated into one. Now I do want to say the reason why we don't use what NetSuite offers, I think the NetSuite Solutions Group has a suite app. Mm -hmm. I forget what it's called, but it's you know grid item grid management that tries to accomplish this. As soon as you have any, like with many NetSuite add-ons, as soon as you have any sort of customization, it kind of falls apart. So in this case, as embroidery needs, so they kind of group the items they put on these orders by the logo image, the placement of that, where that logo should be embroidered, you know, if it's on the left sleeve, whatever, mm -hmm. and the color of the logo. So that all these are all custom attributes that that that's where ECF comes in. What what's happening over there on on the right side? I see logo placement and color again, but I can tell that it's a different set. Yes, they have up to they have zero, one or two logos that can be oh. embroidered. Oh, okay. So this it. would be the second logo. The second logo. Okay. Okay. And so the power of this is this group will get the same logo, same place, the same color, and now we can choose the sizes across to right. And then for example, and I'll show here adding an item, if if we wanted the same item, mm -hmm. but the extra larges and the two X's have a different logo configuration, the way we do that, you either search by and see how fast that search is. Mm -hmm. It's already get a, got the list loaded. You can search by number, you can search by description. So we've got that there. You click that, it immediately added this new line. Let's do 5XL, 52X. This, this shows the list of images that are linked. Uh, and in a future refinement, we'll be adding a little thumbnail so you can actually see that. Oh, that makes sense. So you can see, because that is, is that a client specific logo? Yes. Yeah. Because they're branding, correct? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so here's a different one. Notice as we, every time we change a quantity, we're getting dynamic updates over here with the price, the units, the totals up top. Because in you this case, the prices discounts. are all the prices are all the same across the across the size dimension, a, as long as they're the same, and that is a feature of the matrix items, anyways. That it holds Correct. that uniform. So you're so this works very well in matrix item configurations. Yes. So just what we did here, the adding the items, you know, that's to them that's the that's the big time savings. Here, when we submit, you know, now now our sweet lit. It's done its job, so we're a little bit at the mercy of um, any sort of other scripts that are running on the sales order. Once we implement supply allocation, optimize their client uh, scripts on the sales order, it would go much faster. So here we go. It's added our new our new stuff. And technically, what it's doing is it's clearing this out, so it's not really comparing the existing lines. Oh, it's refreshing it's, and then putting a relaying it all down again. Correct. Correct. And there the team is even despite that having to wait at the end, it already represents a they're very happy with it. Um, so so much it, easier to understand. Yeah, it, it's already speeding up their their work. 
Okay, great. So, so let me let me stop the recording. And I think that this is a awesome beginning of a much more intuitive, much more friendly way of doing things.